All right, but what would you recommend for topics to discuss as your first Facebook Live video on a Facebook business site? Elizabeth, I've answered this before so many times. No, just kidding. Uh, I actually haven't answered this before. So for your first Facebook Live, you're really getting a sense of the platform. And realize if you do it and you think you suck, you can just delete the video. So the only people that will see it are the couple that see you live. And that's like one or two usually when you first start out. So your, I would start out your first one with common questions you get in your practice. So imagine, you know, Elizabeth is working with parents of preschoolers. And, you know, one of the most common questions is what's normal for a three-year-old? So for example, I have a three-year-old. She's kind of a three-nager. Like, is it normal what she's doing? Is her eating where she eats a ton one day and then like nothing the next day? Is that normal? Um, is it normal for her to throw a fit in this way? Is it normal for her to do something else? So to have sort of a structure of, you know, one of the most common questions I get in my counseling practice, mental wellness counseling, is the normal stages of development for three-year-olds. I'm going to share with you a couple things that are just totally normal for three-year-olds and a couple things that you might want to talk to someone like me or pick someone like mine, my brain, someone like my, someone like my, pick someone's brain like me. Um, so then you're just sharing a couple quick tips and then get in the habit of being on screen and feeling like you're genuinely talking to someone. And so because I've done this so much, I'm used to being alone in my office, but feeling like I'm hanging out with the 14 of you that are right here. The more you do it, the easier it gets. Let me just see if, so trauma history. So Elizabeth, I would brainstorm, what is like the biggest question you get before people schedule with you? What are some of the biggest questions you get when people come in for an intake, when people have worked with you for a couple months? Um, I heard trauma described in a really great way where it's like reverse labor pains, where it's really heavy, but then over time it starts to kind of spread itself out. Um, and so I think that's a really solid way to talk about it. So how do you describe trauma? How do you help people understand the progress? So if someone's been through something really intense, um, what are the different types of intensities? When is it harder to work through things? So I would, I would start there. 